Okay, we can start with cadences by note function, and let's pick urge notes, because that'll be more interesting, I think. So, B flat urge notes, sounds like this. B urge notes go like this. And then both B flat and B urge notes Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Multiple Dimensions, Part 31, Engage. In today's episode, we jumped back into Composing in the C4554556 scale, which you just heard us playing some cadences from. We completed the uh, cadences by note function, which is this thing. Uh, we also took it a few moments to reflect what we've done to date up here, we start with our tonality reference area, which looks like this, which is just the scales and the chords. Sometimes we jump directly to an improvisation or impromptu, which you've seen in a couple of the streams in this series. And that gives us a quick start and kind of a way to get a feel for what the scale sounds like for minor and major and full. Then we have our more systematic work area methods where we we take all the cadences from the tonality reference area, which are all the uh, chords down here, and then we kind of basically multiply them. So your 18 chords have been expanded into 45 bars and uh, based on their note function, and then we can add backbones, and that helps us make a finished piece. The new thing in this series is figures by interval. Uh, in fact, that's what this should say, figures by interval. And we just completed using that on the uh, 2 3 3 2 scale and then adding cadences. So we've been more conscientiously uh, taking cadences and adding figures and then taking figures and adding cadences and, and figure out a new way to get these, these figures. So we did that. So um, we also went ahead and updated our piano kit. So now we have a piano kit for uh, this new scale. Remember, our piano kits are color-coded. This is our new scale working with. And that the minor, uh, that's the minor scale, the major is. So that's ready to go. And we use that to help us figure out some of these um, figures, figure out the figures. And we began a figures by interval work area here. So what we're going to do is play the figures for you, and then that'll take us home, and then uh, we'll go from there. So here we go. So it sounds simple, and it is. Yes, fortunately, we're working with a scale that has um, 18 chords instead of 50 chords, which we just finished working with. Um, so in working out this new method called figures by interval, we basically, uh, over here, enumerated, these are all of those 18 chords, and then we sorted them by consonants and we're looking for sequential intervals of like one 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 one, because we found that that sounded cool in the last uh, scale we worked with. So that's like this. Du, 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 du. And here's another that sounds similar. Another. And then the fourth and uh, uh, la, uh, fourth. So because they have a similar interval pattern, our brain hears these as, as related, and that makes for an interesting melodic line. Then we'll go back and add cadences that go with this. 
So that ends today's series. Our ideas for next time are to keep working with that figures by interval. For example, adding going down instead of going up like this, come down. And then arcs and troughs. So. Da, da, da. And those add a whole new flavor level of interest. Um, and then we're kind of thinking about a themes for this this piece. Faces is the one that's come to mind because reason. So we'll see where we go with that. So thank you for your time, attention, and interest. We appreciate your being with the stream always. Please do come back next time. Please do take care and please keep on streaming.